So I want to be wealthy and successful as yeah. a home inspector, yeah. but I don't want to work myself into the ground. I don't want to work, you know, six, seven days a week. Right. What do you, what do you recommend? Uh, in the beginning, you may have to. Okay. Like all of the successful people that I've met have worked extremely hard in the beginning and then they realize how to delegate and use their time and invest. I got to a point where I was working four days a week, wow. but making more money than I did working seven because I work seven days a week. My brother and I work seven days a week. We would do home inspections any day of the week, even on holidays because wow. we worked extremely hard in the beginning. And then like we would figure out how to work less, but make more. And you do that by one principle and it, this principle works in every business. The more value you bring to your client, the more you can charge for your services or products. If you can overwhelm your client with incredible value, if you could solve their problems, if you could give them peace of mind, if you could answer their questions, if you could be there when they need you to give them information that they can't get themselves at an affordable price, you can raise your fees. You can raise your prices because you will be in demand. You won't be like everybody else. So to work less, the inverse of working less is figuring out how to provide more. Hmm. The inverse of working less, if I work less, I must be somehow providing incredible value to a lot of people. Right. Yeah. And if people hit your website, and they can't determine whether you're valuable enough in relation to the cost of hiring you, you've got a problem, right? You haven't gone through the internet G marketing team. You haven't spoken with the IWB team. You haven't taken a business and marketing course. You haven't figured out what your brand is. You have to figure out, and it, it, only you can do this. You have to figure out how you can provide overwhelming value mm -hmm. to your clients in relation to the cost. And in business, if the value is overwhelming, it doesn't have to be actual value. It's just perceived value. If people perceive the value of your business as being overwhelming in relation to the cost, that's a good decision. That's a good economic decision. That's the best economic decision to make. Mm -hmm. So your marketing, your brand, your messaging, your social media posts, your emails, your everything that you do. When you talk, you have to communicate value that is overwhelming to people. Mm -hmm. You have to meet their needs. You have to solve their problems. You have to be there when you're needed. You have to give them information that they need in order to make smart decisions. It's so much fun running a business. It could be any business and it, it could be a home inspection business. And one of the keys is, you, you and I talked about this earlier, that if you, if you see yourself as a business owner, you, your whole life changes. Right. Because you don't have to be the best home inspector. I haven't, I've known many great home inspectors. They're no longer in business. Because they didn't learn that that's not the goal. Mm. The goal is not to make money. The goal is to be successful. And to be successful, you don't have to be the best inspector. You have to run a successful business. And one of them is overwhelming your clients with value. When you're at that stage, you can like charge more and work less, mm -hmm. charge more, make more money and work less and successful and wealthy people. Wealthy people don't work. Right. Wealthy right. people don't work for a living. They have other things that make them money for mm -hmm. their lifestyle. And so success is the goal. And then the ultimate goal, if you're interested is building wealth.